surrender to the one or surrender to our Atman, to the one because you have the one inside of you. And that means you don't surrender to God with a beard. <laughs> and it's surrender to a God inside. Inside. My relation with Maharaji is an inside job. Of course, that was, of course, now he was left his body so that I started. To th I thought started uh, to think of his, his. He always was here because it used to be. Uh, I thought of him as in India, and I was oh I was so d discouraged. I was in Maui. But then, then he left this body, which is just the, the, the essence word. He left his body. He means spiritual he. He left his body. I was in New Hampshire when he left his body and my father, I came back from town and my father was waving a telegram and he said, your, your guru left his bojay. It was, it was a mistaken translation. God, I wonder what's happened. He left his bojay. <laughs> and then once he left his body, I could very much identify him as as inside of me and I would surrender to that voice inside of me And that voice is joyful, is compassionate, is loving, is peaceful, is wise. That's when you have a problem that that's you go inside to to that being 
most people never stop to think because they're thinking, because they're thinking and thinking and identifying with thoughts. How can that be? That's a thought. Me being God, thought, all these thoughts take you away. And God, Stays inside. And I find it very wonderful to surrender to that to that God inside. You have the one inside you. Inside you. You have the one inside of you. And if you will shift your identification to the, to the way of the thoughts into the Atman, you will see what the world looks like to the one. It's quite different than the world through your ego. Mm -hmm. 